Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. The Olympico, obviously an integral part of Roma's proud history. Their home since 1953. Roma have chosen to go with a 3-6-1 formation, Jim. Well, I've seen it before, Peter, but it's extremely unusual. Whether it actually stays like we've been told we'll gauge once the game is ongoing, but essentially it can be effective from both a defensive or offensive viewpoint. It all depends on the manager and his personnel and whether he prefers getting on the front foot or just thinking a little negatively. We'll have to wait and see. The action has already started. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Frank Ribéry. He's got brilliant technical ability and that allows him to dribble his way out of some very tight spaces, creating something out of nothing. And he doesn't try to do it all himself. He's very good at always being aware of the options that are around him and often picking out the right one. Well, quite no argument from me on that one. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And it's Ribéry. Floats one over. Driving on, he could shoot here. Kolarov just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all-or-nothing commitments, and he came up front. Hoists it forward. Jekyll really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. Mkhitaryan! Mkhitaryan! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Ceres with the clearance. Has a goal! Goal! Roma! I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. Roma take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Well, that's clear-cut, it's a free kick. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. Timely intervention. Checo. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Gets it upfield. Spinazzola. It is quite a run he's making here. 
And through to the goalkeeper. He's got options out wide. Chiesa. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Gazelle. Fiorentina have a free kick. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Going for goal! Oh, that's brilliant! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. Fiorentina are back in business. Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Fiorentina at the equaliser, and we're all square. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. He's left his man. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Decent-looking ball. Goes for goal! A really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? We are into stoppage time. Checo. That will be a throw in. Good half of football, three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it's still anyone's game, as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victory. Great leap! It's missed, but by that far, Pellegrini certainly could have and should have made more of that. And it's played forward. Foot in, yeah, he's fouled him there. Tries his luck. 
Worth a try. Shame about the outcome. Well, it was certainly an acrobatic effort. I mean, it was probably the best option for him, but they're never easy to pull off. Kolarov goes looking. There too. Pellegrini plays it out to the flank. Surely! Roma have it back and they can go again. It's one! Same again, same outcome. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Hoisted clear. And it's fair too. So we've reached the hour mark. Look at Tari. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Roma just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. What a throw in. Patel. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. It's Bruno Perez. And here's Jacko. Fine save! Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. better of his opposite number. What a ball this has turned out to be. Pellegrini decides to play it back. Bruno Perez. Roma are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. It's a good foot in there. Lucatari. Chiesa, Patel, and it's Dzeko, battles to win it back, oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one, there could be trouble here, but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. Dzeko set up one goal so far. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Played out to the right. That may well be that. That is that. Roma win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin.
Your final thoughts, Jim?